okay, we have a series. We want to find out if it converges or diverges. So our first intuition might be to use uh, the alternating series test. But unluckily for us, we can't actually use that because in order to use it, we first have to check if after we take the absolute value of all these terms, if they are increasing or not. If they are increasing, then we can't use them. So in this case, they are increasing. We have two fifths and four sixths and six sevenths and so on, right? It's increasing in, in absolute value terms. So we definitely can't use the alternating series tests. Uh, that means that we're going to have to use, um, convert this into a series, and then perhaps just use a divergence test. So let's convert this into a series. So this is going from n equals 1 to infinity. And what would be the terms? Well, for one thing, it's alternating. So we have to make sure that we factor that in. Um, our first term is negative, so we could just have n as opposed to n minus 1 or n plus 1. So that's our first term. We have a fraction, so we got that. We we're moving by 2, so that's 2n. And our first one starts at 2, so that's good. Uh, so we could just leave that as a numerator. Our numerator, I mean our denominator, we're adding 1. We're adding 1. So that would just be 1n, which is just n. But we can't just leave it like that because we have to start it at 5. And we're plugging in uh, 1 into here, so naturally, it would be 4 plus n. So that's how this looks. Uh, that's our series. Now we want to uh, do the divergence test. So with the divergence test, we want to make sure that it goes to 0. If it doesn't go to 0, then it diverges. So you don't, you don't have to do anything else. Uh, so let's uh, try this. We take the limit as n approaches infinity of negative 1 to the n, we have 2n, 4 plus n. This would give us infinity over infinity if we plugged it into there. So we can use L'Hopital's rule. Uh, we can use L'Hopital's rule, or we could uh, divide by n, which would be, you know, kind of the similar, uh, the same thing. It would give you the same results. So we could have 2, and then you divide this by n, this would go to 1, this would be 4 over n, 4 over n. We plug infinity into there, this goes to 0, and so we would have 2. We would have 2 in there. But remember, remember that we're also plugging infinity into there. And what happens if we plug in infinity into there. We would just keep plugging different integers. So this could be 1, 2, 3, 4, whatever. The negative is just going to be blinking on and off. So your limit is either 2 or negative 2, but you can never tell because infinity doesn't tell you where it stops. It doesn't stop. So it's just blinking on and off from 2 to negative 2. So that means that the limit doesn't exist. So this diverges by the divergence test. And so therefore, that also diverges.